1493, Christopher Columbus reported seeing three female forms off the coast of Hispaniola that rose out of the sea. The famous English pirate Blackbeard reported the similar sightings of women in the seas and prohibited his men from sailing near those areas. These women were not women, however. In fact, they were said to be mermaids, legendary aquatic creatures that appear half human and half fish, and that have become a prominent figure of folklore and real life with sightings still being recorded today. Using the Old English word for sea, mere, and the term for a young woman, maid, these creatures have been the main actors in many mythological tales all over the world and through time. Playing the part of the original femme fatale whose beauty has seduced sailors to their deaths for centuries, mermaids have operated as creatures of their own nature and are neither good nor bad with their feelings changing as rapidly as the sea itself. Her first appearance in folklore was in ancient Assyria 2500 BC to 605 BC, in which the goddess Adergetus transformed herself into a mermaid out of the shame she endured for unintentionally killing her human lover. As well as this, the sister of Alexander the Great, Thessina-like, reportedly turned into a mermaid after her death and lived in the Aegean Sea. Thessina-like would ask sailors one question. Is King Alexander alive? If the reply was, he lives and reigns and conquers the world, she would let the men sail on by calming the waters. Any other answer would enrage her and she would whip the sea into a terrible frenzy that would create a storm and annihilate the ship and all its crew. In more recent times, the mermaid has appeared in many forms in a number of fictional novels, most notably in The Little Mermaid, Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale which later inspired films such as Disney's The Little Mermaid and Studio Ghibli's Ponyo. Moreover, Anderson's novel has been incredibly influential in sculpting and cementing the appearance of mermaids in modern-day fiction. The fact that these creatures all have similar descriptions around the world has led people to believe that mermaids are in fact real and not the rantings of sailors who have seen manatees or dolphins. The constant sightings and their influence in literature not only makes them real for many people, but creates a history around them that makes people want to believe in them. These varied reports and folk tales of mermaids highlight how enticing these creatures have become to the imagination. In many Scottish and Welsh legends, mermaids befriended and even married humans. Stories such as these exist alongside accounts of their evil and cunning nature, as they lure unprepared sailors to their untimely and cruel death at the sea. Though not as popular, mermen enjoy an equally notorious nature for summoning storms and sinking ships that drown unsuspecting and vulnerable sailors. Many believe that the most dangerous gang of mermen existed in the Outer Hebrides off the coast of Scotland. The blue men of the Minch would test the wit of a captain by challenging the ship's crew to a rhyming contest. If the captain was agile enough to compete, the ship 
would be graciously saved from certain death. Accounts of such maliciousness being inherent in both mermaids and mermen is a continuous theme in ancient texts. Roman naturalist Pliny the Elder wrote in his text, Natural History, that under the cover of night, seamen would climb up into ships and seat themselves on the ship, making the vessel descend into its watery demise. The illustration of how dangerous and evil mermen and mermaids are is witnessed in the Odyssey. In Book 12, despite being warned to cover his ears, Otis's curiosity takes control and his desire to hear the sirens singing overcomes him and makes his men tie him to their ship. Already the reputation of the siren's desirability is so great that Odysseus is willing to risk the lives of his men. When he hears the songs of the sirens, they promise to free him from his earthly responsibilities while they lure him and his men towards them on the jagged and sharp rocks that would ultimately kill them. This is a prominent thing regarding the lure of mermaids, the theme of escapism from the life we know. Many theorize that mermaids and mermen descended from underwater apes that explored the sea rather than the land like we did. Debate has continued to ensue regarding the existence of these creatures and in recent years, this fascination has spiked. As the similarities in the description and behavior across the globe serve to cement a degree of truth to their existence, a multitude of media footage can be found online providing evidence of these sightings, further cementing mermaids as real. Though many believe that this evidence is the result of a hoax, this does not stop how tantalized people are at the mention of a sighting. We as humans still know little about our oceans and we have only explored less than 5% of our seas. To discount the existence of underwater creatures that perhaps share physical similarities with humans requires the belief that we have discovered all there is about our oceans. But the seas are dark and deep with a multitude of sightings from so many different civilizations. Across the world and through time, perhaps there is truth to these accounts. We can never be as certain as some wish we could. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.